Okay, when you watch this next segment, if you are like me, you're going to walk away with not just one new friend, but two, because Bates Reed is here. He has Chief Farms. He's a Red Bank native. In fact, I'll tell you up front, he still lives on the land that has been in his family for 100 years, mm -hmm. right there in downtown Red Bank, right in downtown Red this Bank. little oasis that's changing the world. Mm -hmm. And this is Chi, the name of the farm. So good to see you both. It's good to be here, thank you. So I've been hearing a lot about you. Um, people told me you were coming and I, they said, you're gonna fall in love with him, Julie. You're gonna love what he does. <laughs> and I understand it now because you've got this passion for healthy eating, mm -hmm. uh, the power of community, mm -hmm. and you've combined it all to also support you and other area farmers. Is that kind of a fair way to put it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We're here, we are here to support our local economy, whoever grows, makes, or creates food or services locally. I think it's a good time of the year to be talking to you because you had just said to me before we came on camera, everything that they're growing, um, they have dairy farmers. What do you do, vegetables? We have, we have a hen farm in Sell Creek. So we do, we do eggs and we have an organic farm in Sell Creek as well. Okay. So those are the two items that we do, but we partner with any local business, farmer, maker, baker, grower that wants to be a part of a local food collaborative and cooperative. Okay, but you're virtual, which means that people can go on your website, is this right? That's and correct. kind of put in their cart what they want, and then it's delivered to them. That's correct. It's delivered every Wednesday or Thursday, depending on the weather. We don't want people driving when the weather's really, when we're having a storm. Sure. But yeah, it's delivered every week, so they can get a box once a month, once every other week, once a week, depending on their personal family needs. Where's the pickup site? We, d we deliver to their front door. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. So when you said that you hate to see people out on a rainy day, you mean your people. Our people. Wow. <laughs> that one driving in the rain or the snow and potentially hurting themselves. Okay, yeah. so I had said earlier, I think it's the perfect time of year to be having this conversation. And I said that because so many people made a resolution for the new year to right. eat healthier. Right. And that sounds great until so you go to the grocery store and start reading labels and you're thinking, how do I decipher all of this? Mm -hmm. So with you, we really know what's going into the food. You do because, you know, what's become so apparent since we were children was that the foods have been changing. The, you know, what's in, what's in the milk has changed, the hormones. We heard about it for years. What, you know, the milk coagulates, it turns bad and stinky. And back in the day and what we get now from like, from, uh, from our vendor in Crossville is a, is a small batch milk. It's called small batch, which means that they don't heat it up the same way. They don't destroy the good stuff in the milk, which makes, eventually makes it turn sour and those kind of things. It, 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 when you get your milk, you take off the cap and you take that cream out and put it on your bagel or put it in your, put it in your coffee. You know, you don't hear those kind of things from the regular grocery store right. anymore. Okay, let's go with the milk <laughs> idea. Okay. If you were to buy a gallon of milk at the grocery store, uh, there's an expo a, a sell-by date mm -hmm. on there. So mm -hmm. it's got a shelf life of mm -hmm. a couple of weeks probably. Right. If you get the milk from Crossville, you're going to get the same expiration date, really? but it came straight from the cow and it was just small batch pasteurized. It's not homogenized, but it's okayed by the F FDA mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm sorry, USDA. And uh, so you still get all the certification from it, but you're getting a much cleaner version of, of your milk. The, the stuff that literally it comes in a little glass bottle that I call it, we're the, we're the milkmen of the 21st century. <laughs> so now instead of just dropping off milk, we drop off all your vegetables, right. all your foods from the local community. Is there meat too? There's meat as well. Okay. And we're growing all of those. As, we're just continually having to grow. We are a bootstraps. We're not funded yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have sponsors like Humana just came on board. And I want to talk about that because I think that this, I'm guessing this was your mindset, but you correct me if I'm wrong. So CHI stands for Community Helps Itself. Is that right? That's right. That's your CHI. Uh, but it also means pure, pure energy. Pure love. energy. Yeah. So we have this problem where you hear about people having an unhealthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, and when you're on the lower socioeconomic end of things, it's all the more difficult to eat healthy. That's right. Uh, food deserts are a real thing. They are a real so thing. So with Humana sponsoring mm -hmm. you, that monetary donation is going to help get this same quality food to people in need. You know what was, and that's exactly it. What was so amazing is I said, how are we going to get this into food insecure areas, into food deserts? Well, when you go to Patton Towers, for example, my experience was I went there, we set up a table, we did a, we shot, did a shot of the picture of Patton Towers, and then I went in and said, let's see if we can give them discounts. 
a lot of those people are receiving after they pay for their their housing 20 to 43 dollars a month is the majority of what they receive in food credits from snap benefits what Wait, can you buy are you, are you telling me that that's all the money they have to that's buy all food? the money they have to buy food for an entire month so when we went in there i was like wow this is not going to work luckily through the universe god source talking to us all basically said humana looked at it and said that's who we've been looking for to get food to these people so now with corporate sponsors that come on board like humana literally sponsoring feeding all of Patton towers right. or all of bethlehem center in that community or all of uh, any of the other communities we're going to be feeding six communities up through June of this year through Humana alone. Okay, so uh, the visionary in you, do you look at that and think, okay, let's take a look at where we are today and what will our two range, two year range mm -hmm. outlook look like? Mm -hmm. Because two years of eating healthy could change medical conditions, yes. mental health, all Absolutely. of it. This, that's the whole vision. The whole vision is how do we, how do we go from a culture that, that in, my, in, my, in my grandparents' time or my mother's time when they were young and everybody had chickens, you could eat those eggs. Well, it got too easy to buy a 99 cent thing of eggs at the store to, 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 to feed your hens anymore, so everybody stopped. Mm. So now we come into the culture where we are now where everybody got used to the growing, going to the grocery store. And I'm not downplaying a grocery store. Thank goodness for grocery right, stores, right? right? But if you want really local things, there's some basics that we must get back to that haven't been changed. And, you know, all the sugar that's in, in, in the everywhere. processing and everything that, that if, if you're not buying local, you're probably buying processed and GMO with a lot of hormones, unless you know what you're looking for. Okay, so when we're through talking and I go on your website, mm -hmm. which is Chi Farms? Chi Markets. Dot life. Chi Mark, we'll show you, Chi Markets. Life. So when I go on there, am I going to see a, how frequently I would want to get something from you, but also what my options are to get, or is it kind of a grab bag of what's in season? We have so, what we, the way we set it up is we say, hey, would you like to get a box and sponsor your community? So the box could be just a vegetable box. It could be our full produce box, our basics box, which has milk, bread, eggs, beef, five quarts of vegetables, and one type of fruit. And that's normally it would be like $75, but if you just do it on rotation once a month, Every other week, we take $10 off of it automatically so we can keep count of what we need to distribute every week. Okay. So those boxes then become what you get once a month or once every other week. Then by Mondays of each week, when your box comes on Wednesday, you go in and you order extra honey, venison bone broth, elderberry syrup, you know, whatever you want to add to your box, you just go ahead and pay for that. There on the online, mm -hmm. we add it to your box and drop it off at your door. What about the education need, though, to teach people how to go from eating the way we are eating to this new way of eating? I wouldn't know what to do with venison broth. Right. We have, here's, we're not there yet. We are working on recipes that we can show people, okay, you got this this week, or here's our little box of chi recipes. This is one of the things we're not there yet, but we can show you what to do with those items. Okay. So, but at this point, it's more of like, okay, I'm going to look on Google and I'm going to see what to do with an avocado if I don't know what to do with an avocado. Sure. Well, that's easy. That's, 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 an, that's an easy one. <laughs> we that all was, know. Everybody knew what that was yesterday at Super Bowl, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So the idea is to learn. I mean, you, nobody just knows what to do with all this food if you haven't seen it or, or, or even that you could take the cream out of the milk and put it on your bagel because they're going to think it's rotten, right? They're going to think it smells really bad. Yeah. But it's delicious. It tastes like butter. So it's just we've gotten so far away from local and, and into corporate whatever it is where we're getting our food that we don't really know how to do that. And anymore. if people wanted to do this, do they sign up for a length of time or can they do it like a month trial? They can order their first box and then I'll give them a call or one of the people on our team, would you like to do it every other week or once a month? Absolutely, there's no contracts. You go as long as you'd like, wherever your budget is. And then if you, we, we also take SNAP benefits for, for those on SNAP benefits. Okay. Exactly the same thing, we just do it through SNAP. It's a, it's a lot to kind of take in, but this mm -hmm. was your introduction to what he does, plus right. your chance to see Chi uh, and all of her energy. <laughs> and all her energy today. Hey, she, yeah. She's one chill dog. Um, <laughs> but if you want to get in touch with him at ChiMarkets.life, you can order 
And if you are inclined, maybe help with the sponsorship of things, Absolutely. he can have that conversation with you as well. The phone number is 800-9043. Living yes. on in the, his, the house his grandfather built 100 years ago is not there anymore? Or uh, still the, the house isn't there, but the cottage behind it is, and that's where we distribute the food out okay. of, and that's Chi, that's Chi Life Center. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty or, cool. A, a true Chattanooga story. Yeah, Thank right you, on. babe. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chi. Thank you, Chi. She didn't market me. She got to my car. <laughs>